is Blushing Panda, here with an art study. Yes, it is finally time that we finally get good. No more left eye problems. No more accidentally turning your heartwarming character into Slender Man's cousin. And no more coloring the world in a nuclear wasteland. All because you put the color on the highest saturations. I can joke about this because these are my old drawings. Let's start with the video. Today, the video is about values. I picked this topic since I was having trouble with next week's piece. Wink wink. So, the best way and the only way to start and drawing as a beginner is using reference. And not from your 2004 T-Mobile prepaid phone that your mom gave you back then because you were crying about it because everybody else had it for prom. No, I mean real references from sites such as the holy grail that is pinterest you need a reference for hair they got it you need a reference how to draw a dog they got it you need a reference how to do perspective they got it you need a reference how to draw a demonic cursed woody they got it why do they got it anyway four values all you need to learn is four things Core shadows, midtones, highlights, and bounce light. Sounds simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Art takes patience and dedication. It could take years or even multiple lifetimes till you might see a little speck, tiny, itty, bitty speck of a result. Very motivating, yes? Let's start by pointing out what you're not supposed to do. Do not, I repeat, do not stylize your ref if you don't know what your fundamentals are, like I did. So, let's start from scratch. I'm gonna start by studying the reference. Then I'm gonna lower the opacity and break the reference into shapes. These are called your planes, which you can see in an example of the astro's head. I'm sure you've seen these a thousand times already. If not, you just got ahead in life. I do this three times. Each time I add more details from before. That way I get a good layout of my subject. Next, I make my sketch on the side so I can properly see my guidelines. Once I'm satisfied with my sketch, I add a base color to start painting. To help me out, I turn the reference into a monochrome picture. Go into your layer menu, fill it up with black, and put it on the color blending mode. I like to start painting out my shadows. Some start with highlights or the midtones, but you do whatever feels best. I'll just stay here in the dark side. You'll see me go back and forth with my line art because the whole point of this exercise is to gain readability. You want to be able to understand your drawing with and without your line art. To achieve ultimate realism, your drawing needs both soft and hard edges. I put a hard shadow on her cheek which I'll smooth with a quick blend. Now look at me. No, no, don't look away. Look at me. You softly blend to get a soft and smooth blend. You blend harshly when you're trying to censor the mess you just made. Understood? 
Since she didn't have that much highlight to begin with in the picture, I will add small highlights to her necklace, her lip, under her eyes, her hair, and her bracelet. And that should do it. I hope you were able to learn something from this video. It's my first time doing this, so leave a comment to say if I could improve. And what else do you like to see as a tutorial? And while you're there, poke that like button and subscribe for more of my content. We need to get good. And remember, stay safe, stay cool, stay weird. Bye, nerds.